afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything amazing propaganda cast. Me, your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda, the only sanctioned source of companies to casts. Off here to help one message one own crossroads in the south. It is use M246 fighting for America, freedom, democracy. Taking on the role here of the fifth armed division as the north. It is PFC fighting here for the German army, Deutschland. Taking on the role here of the 342nd foot and be shown here with Ostrom. Triple Tiger Bulletins, one Tiger Ace, versus Heavy Cavalry, we got Rifle Company, we got Recon Support there with Triple Infant there for U's, and you for two awesome start here for PFC, noting no Infantry Company, probably because he's not really worried about needing Panzer Faust, so, I mean, obviously, obviously just going to rely on the uh, <coughs> immediate speed of the Ostrom backed up, and you for two sort of push the well, front line ahead there. Pioneers moving up eastward, so we got liaisons flanking up there already. So in a sense, PFC is going for a slightly disruptive start here versus the U's, trying you know, to sort of slow them down a bit maybe, which is also why we're noting the md 4 is falling up here, though in this case it's not quite panning up. But it's an interesting bow play there with PFC, and probably to an extent enabled by him going for Austin, which again just cuts off the whole having to spend time building the infantry, company training, you just cut that out and just begin churning out Austin. That's kind of why it sort of sees use, it's because it's faster. In that sense, and thus means you can sort of you know skip the bit where the Wehrmacht usually has to catch up in terms of territory because you have to spend a bit of time building a building and then get the infantry out. So the Ostrom essentially allowed to play more aggressive, though again they're penned as like you know defensive infantry. Third Ostrom squad there for PFC and the German army. More rifle in there for use M246 and M4 to the opening up. There again, note the active uses of the M42 by PFC. Good play there. Third Rob squad almost down there for use. Season the western point seven is the Ostropen. Grabbing the northern nation's point as well. We've got liaison sneaking about there. <clears throat> Roughing about here, perhaps we'll look to see if something's going to pop up or maybe try and set up the deep flank. In which case, good there. Also, moving up the right flank, possibly again to screen the right flank, probably trying to pressure fuel point. I mean, there's a few possibilities either way. It does mean the flank is screened. Leaves him not entirely blind there. More fighting the west side as well here. Both sides are going at it hard, but he's going to need more storm here to fight against the Rav Squad, particularly since there's, you know, no cover them to stick around in, which is basically where the Ostrom need to be because they're kind of terrible outside of cover. Rav and they easily dispatch the Ostrom, suffering actually no damage at all, so that's so highly again why you need cover the Ostrom, otherwise they're basically about as useful as a sack of wet kitten in a fight. Probably less useful since at least the kittens can scratch. Pioneers going in there for the car point. And again, nope. Aggressive play here from PFC. Again, you gotta use the aggressive, of course. You have to be careful not to be too aggressive. In this case, the MP4 should probably come in the flank, but at least, you know, he is actively using it. He's not just parking in one spot and leaving it there. Also, with the riflemen, rather than all being weakened up, but even then, up close, they have a lot of DPS, and the Ostrom could end up losing despite having the heavy car bonus. Note the MP4 2 handling here again. He's not retreating, which is honestly a bit risky there. The Pioneers, though, are doing some damage. I'm just gonna have to treat the MP4 2 and the Pioneers here. He is going to have to retreat there. Lots of fighting there, lots of disruption, lots of harassment. We've got Tiger Dunn there for PFC. Could go for some early Panzer Gunners. So that way, try and strike back at Hughes. Hughes and the 5th Armour there going for the Company Command Post. Usually it's the Platoon Command Post, you know, M20s, 50 Calibers, all that jazz. But in this case, he's actually opting for a slightly different choice there. Perhaps it is the Ostrom Doctrine that's making him think, you know, he needs something else on the table. Or perhaps he just likes the cat, and maybe just likes those two bars. Maybe he likes the aesthetics of it, who knows. Pioneers are being reinforced, replacements there being brought in from whatever units can muster them. As the war went on, certainly replacements uh, came from a variety of sources for un German units at the front line. For example, during uh, the fighting in Normandy, the 352nd Infantry Division, for example, found itself taking replacements from the Reichsarbeitdienst. Convalescing troops, troops on leave, you know, with the local population, just whatever was nearby. Luftwaffe flat crews who, you know, had to give up their guns, all sorts of things. They could, you know, quickly find themselves as a replacement for any losses there. It's a little fun fact there, and tends not get talked about a lot. Ostrom has reasons for the Western, for the fighting for the Western fuel point so far. The PFC is in for, you know, rough start here. Again, he tried to play for a very aggressive Ostrom build. Against a weaker opponent, probably could have worked out, but as you can see, Hughes is definitely a deft American player and has been able to negate a lot of the possibilities, strengths from PFC's aggressive play, but at the same time, he's not necessarily having it super easy. I'd like to make a nice company up there, could go for the flame fire attack, two to twos, though I still feel like Panzer Grenadiers would be a very solid addition. Racing because they're also in there. Also, there's a rifle in there. Racing's dispatched with full force, and then you 4 again. Really aggressive play, I mean, it's 
pretty much borderline reckless. In fact, it may be straight up be reckless, but still he's using it actively. And again, I feel like still personally that is just the superior way to handle the MP4 calls, not recklessly, but you have to use it actively. Isn't that right, Basil? Basil agrees. He agrees. In fact, that's probably why he just came up here into my room to say, you know, in cat speak. Got the artillery field officer out there for PFC. He's also telling you to remember to subscribe, like, and of course press the bell button. He's such a good cat. He really tries his best, you know, to make my channel successful. Thank you, Basil. Also, that's the captain. Got the half to run away there for use M246. <clears throat> Charting there the Ostrom. Routing there, Ostrom Pioneers, Officer MD4 to bring in the half to run away there for. Mr. Use M246 and the 5th Armored Division right from there being routed. The officer doing what he can there with his Luger and his MP40 wielding their friends. Pioneer is moving up. Ambulance following up this role there for Use M246. Right from the flanking up. MP42 there is moving westwards. Again, the aggressive fluid natures there of PFC's movements. Already sort of planning ahead they wants to, where he wants to position the MP42s so other troops are moving ahead there. So that certainly requires a lot of active management there from PFC. So good play there. Good play. And again, switching up the west side, as he realizes that's weaker, so he can make better progress there, which is what you want to be doing anyways. Take up down there, no some of the Panzer it is, so it looks like he's just going on light vehicles. Got the half track out there, two to two. I like the Panzer Spearwagen. Like you're from a nearby Panzer Division or Panzer Gunner Division, since a Fuchs Gunner Division. Wouldn't well, have access to those, they barely have any trucks, they're mostly sort of horse driven, particularly for, well, for the logistics. Lots of horses. Fun fact. And it's also something that doesn't necessarily get discussed a lot, but in particular the German innovations were increasing as the war went on reliant on horses. It's like cart around everything. It's a little fun fact there. And there we go, two to two out there for PFC and the German army, half turning up the dealing with the Austrian Murata, and then we got a few light into tank months down, probably anticipating the two to two. It's very much, you know, what is to be expected there. Pioneer is routing as they see the half tank on the horizon, deciding that they would rather like to keep their heads than any other extremities. To bring in again the half tank, bit risky. I mean, two two twos can take it on, but even then, it requires some depth management there of the two two twos, so what not getting blasted. One in theory can do, but it requires you to get in front of it and you stay in front of it, and the half tank turns really fast. So it's not always so easy. Ooh, nice smoke there. I'm guessing he's trying to rush the calf point, but in this case, he quickly realized that was not going to pan out. Instead, he's quickly turning to his attention to the right from the west flank, backing up the 84 2 then allowing to fight them a close diversion. It would be great right now with a pick of an ability there. Ends up with a 2 2 the right and the right from there. Good work. And we got Rangers out here for use M246, who's gone for heavy cavalry. Calling in some light assault infantry there. And we got a second 2 2 there for PFC, so something more support there from whatever. Armoured or mechanised units providing support here for the 342nd Fultz of these. We got Austin going up there for the around the car for now. 2 to 2 slowly getting done, officer retreating there. And there you go, medic bunker up as well there. Very nice thing to have, obviously. And towards the, the Rangers. The Rangers are, despite their courage, despite their bravery, not bulletproof. As use M246 finds out, it's the MD42 hoses them down. Ravnik need to pursue the 2-2 doing some damage, MD42 retreats, so as, you know, with the 2 to retreating, the flank is exposed, so, you know, best not risk it. Back here, more pioneers and way there for PFC, probably for some minesweepers, or maybe more flame force, so just more repairs. Also, really good play there again, even as he's fighting in the west and basically fighting a bit more with fighting withdrawal there, he's actually making progress in the east, realising that the... Uh, Uses committing most of his forces to the west, so good play there. Use obviously needs to be careful not to overextend everything and this push is trying to hit PFC there. So that was a bit of a slip up then. He hasn't been laying down mines for Raffin, which you could consider. And we'll enter Tangle that's gonna make it harder here for the PFC to use his two to twos in the right places. That's definitely not a bad investment there at all. Plus, of course, once any potential armor hits, the M1s are also gonna be really handy there. Rangers of the Tompkins ready, half check smelling about again. Note that PFC is now being to ship his 2 2s elsewhere. Again, he's going to try and, you know, keep use a bit more guessing and make it a bit harder for him just to lock them down. That's obviously what you want to be doing. Rather than catching the 2 2s by the calf point, still got the half to move eastwards. Troops are reinforcing. Lots of action here. Lots of intense fighting. Rather than the Austin and go off the officer finding got damage in the 2 2. -two. Three kills on the officer, veteran to one. Bit of skirmishing here. Ostrom now fighting with the captain. Captain there with his bar. 
Could be some uh, pressures. Bite of from there for the Oscar. If they were to somehow get rid right of the captain. Bit of skirmish in here in the west. We got Mark Range moving up the Pontius in the way, but with no S mines to sort of screen them from the uh, brute force of the Rangers, they will have to retreat unless they want to get, you know, filled with holes. And uh, yeah, that ended very much predictably. On the other hand, PBC might be able to get a lot of the rifle, that would be helpful. You could even try and take out the ambulance here with the 2 to 2. Bit of water cannon fire, there you go, M1 to the rescue them, and the 2 to 2 goes. No! No! Oh, it does go down still. He got a rifle squad with it, so I mean, in the end, I would say at least partially paid itself off, though the half track is still a problem. But, PFC, there's already thinking ahead going there for the next tier. Panzer's on the way. Hey, hey. Austin the Rang, the Rangers, as they perhaps worry they're actually not Austin, but something a bit tougher, and then they are Austin still. To two, and obviously, then the way, Santa Bruna's going to be a bit more formidable and forcing a rap. Well, causing more damage, not so much a rat as they are already routed. Half from the two just gonna have to fall back. Already taking heavy damage here from the half track. And the officer there Ooh, calling in smoke. Let's go to the retreat here. Not a bad move, not a bad move. Dispatching a force into the east. English is trying to maintain position around the center. The machine has now gotten a lot more static. Could still be used more actively, but to an extent I can understand at this phase since things are getting a lot more hectic. But the vehicles out, the MD42 is at least for now until it's got some way of you know probably supporting the machine gun to be a bit harder to use it mobily anyways maybe that's why I went for the half track <laughs> of course at the same time with it here if you pop some turning on the around the half track gets too close the half track gets turned into Swiss cheese US grade which you know, obviously is the proper Swiss cheese anyways there you go Pantafas in the half track 2-2 though he's nearby near so you know maybe punish it still it is going to force you to be a bit more careful with it, so unless he you know, wants it filled with much larger holes. Once he can't just fix out with a bit of, you know, blowtorch and uh, good old American elbow grease. 2 2 2 the with the tank, and there's moving in there. Small assault here by the lieutenant now. Interesting pick there. Certainly indicates at least the potential of a Pershing stall, which is a bit rarer. As you figure, just go for the mid, you know, maybe try and get a fast Sherman here versus PFC before PFC, you know, gets out of his panzers. Rangers arrive from there, hard at work on the west side. There's a Korean temperature there slowly from the Krauts. Parnier is here being pushed away from the fuel point. Not before they grab it though. And we got the fifth cover there. As used, they realizes he needs something to stop those dastardly elite Ostrom. My god, those Ostrom, them clearly must be the best the German army has to offer. Because it surely couldn't be us that uh, are getting outplayed here. Anyways, troops are healing and forcing. Routing there the rifleman with a few well placed shots. Got the Rangers there in the bit of the way. Fifth cover, they're almost done here for use. And they got the MD42 hard at work here. And turning off here, immediately being timed there. Thumbs up to PFC. Bit of an overlooked ability, but again, I do feel like it's one that, you know, elevates the MD42 in the right places. It's been quite good because, again, it allows you to do a lot of damage. And that's really what the MD42 wants to be doing damage. Also, of course, great accounting light -like vehicles. They go rough foot. Could go down here. These. That's looking like a white. He's retreating right in front of it. We got a supplies dropped in there by the PFC inside this base. Pack 40, MD 34. Mm, might be he's actually planning to go for tier 4 then. An interesting choice there by PFC, to be honest. He's going to go for that, but I mean. So far, I'd say, I mean, considering has been handling his things otherwise so far, he could likely pull it off. I mean, he's not exactly going to some slouch here. Another fifth cover there for use, as again the threat of the Ostrom continues to weigh heavily on his mind. Got that fifth cover in the east, was all taking some light damage. Ground the Western victory point here with the officer. Ostrom routed right here by the lieutenant, more importantly, the half track. Ostrom defend the point there. To zooming in, might be going there for a raid into the base in the ambulance, but finds the captain guarding it. There we go, T4 is indeed being planned. Quick crap packing up there the pack 40 and getting moving. Like, you're gonna grab the MG34 as well, pushing them up to two machine guns, so that way you know, help hold down the Americans. 
Mine's been able to cover the flank. He's only worried about there about any flanks. He's only realised that PFC is not just you know, your average uh, shoe stopper there. Or some apparently accidentally managed to find himself in the medic bunker. Mort on the way there for the use. That's actually a pretty good pick. It's going to help with the machine guns plus support weapons, primed with smoke screens, more organic over the anti munitions. I mean, good pick there, good pick. They could, of course, gone for the pack howitzer, which, of course, can't lay down smoke, but is in most other ways really good. But obviously, that's going to change a bit once it get nerfed, at least toned down a bit, I suppose. Still, PFC will likely go for the heavy pants, of course, soon. It's a bit of a risky maneuver, but again, he's been sort of able to slow down, uh, uses the resource income, so PFC might be able to pull it off successfully. At least not too badly. Got the MD-34 setting up there. A bit of a sort of still think good investment there for PFC. And of course, he's now second lead to use that he's got for tier 4. Because the light machine is being to PM the arse to him. Push for the center of the machine gun and enter tank. But in the a bit of an obstacle there. They've got Mortify there. Intent on clearing out that obstacle very aggressively. It's a good pick there by Yuzis. Ultra fine to being to push up by left flank again, realizing, hang on, my German opponent is not there. Maybe I should exploit that rather than kindly inform my German opponent. He's left the flank wide open and he should have quickly covered it up like I'm some Canadian. Cat moving out in the Pioneers to the Jumling Westwards. Hey, Panzer call there. Slowly done here for PFC and the German army. Also, McFordan, ng Fed moving out there, straight into the half track. Oh, Rangers, they're going to counter as well. Good little setup there by use. We've got the Pack 40 opening out there, almost taking up the half track. Also, I'm going for the fuel point, and the ng Fed 4 gets right up the Rangers, could steal it and turn it against PFC, which would be a bit uncomfortable for them. That's exactly what happened there. S mine style, no good spot. They're probably going to lay the close to the victory points of the fuel point, but you know. Better some mines than no mines at all. Pioneers moving up there, Katana attacking on the west side. Quick response there by PFC. Let me see what he goes for first. I mean, Sturmpanzer would immediately be a strong pick here versus all of the infant support weapons that, you know, use has. In particular, since it hasn't taken up. There's no immediate armor threat there to the Sturmpanzer. So that could be quite effective for PFC. That could be quite effective, as they say. And the tank opening up. Can go for the Storm Panzer 4. I mean, he could also go for the Panther if he's really worried about armor or Pershing. I mean, his opponent has signal. He's going for it with ranges. So PFC could decide to play it very safe and go for the Panther. You could argue it's a bit too safe. No. He goes for option C. And he actually goes for a Panzer Therfer. I mean, that also works. That's only cheaper. In some ways, not quite as consistent as bombardment of the Allies, but cheaper bombardment of the Allies. Maybe Langdon like just go for some help fight this and infant support weapons, while, you know, not laying the Panther too massively. So, in that sense, it's like the sort of in between solution, if you will. So, we'll have to see how that works out. Also, from Suppress Route, Rangers going in there, close to Veteran 2. Back here, here, Panzer Court. Cool. Oh, he counts it for the Panther, anyways. Alright, just. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but much. I mean, the Panther also does make sense with the machine guns. It can fight infantry. It's just not going to be as explosive as the Storm Panzer or the Panzer Werfer, but it can fight it. But again, it does mean that a Pershing stall is going to be a bit tricky, and certainly any other sort of armor tactics might also encounter a few issues. Destroying the Telemone there. Very much to be expected. Troops sitting out there, and a tank number two almost done there for use M426, or 246. Half in there, blast away, nine kills for T2. So the Panther can also you know, hunt down that half track and knock it out pretty effectively, which could also be another reason it's going to go for it, because the Sturm Panzer is less amazing at that. It's like trying to catch a rapid with an obese, you know, Corgi. There you go, Panther out. Mortifying way they're close to veteran to one. Telemines down there. Both players are certainly 
keen on mining and trying to you know, block off certain paths and whatnot. Good play there. Good foresight by both. Two thumbs up there. One for each. They'll have to share. Awesome. There's more to that. Come into a treat. Again, they're multiple a bit of a nuisance. And certainly PFC would benefit from Attila down the road besides the uh, rail system. What? What's this? He's just driving straight through the wall and he's going straight from the ambulance. Like some monster out of a horror movie. Just peacefully minding their own business before the panther just breaks through the wall and shatters it. On that day, they received a grim reminder that the German of Wehrmacht could hit them if they're not careful. MD-42 there, hosing down the ranges with the 10-year-old pigeon guns, panther into shot, taking there from the anti tank gun. Panther doesn't care. Second shot misses, going straight for the half in there. PFC is just absolutely hammering away that use M246. Showing no mercy. No remorse. Certainly showing you how a panther really should be used, which is aggressively. Of course, not recklessly aggressively. Certainly not just you know using it like it's some sort of rare collector's item. I mean, actual Panther now today would be a rare collector's item, but in game, not so much. And Gatilla called in as well here by the officer. Further disrupting here, uses a bit of stuff there. Very good, very good. Use center defensive here, and he's actually tech now for the Batan command post is going for the Scott. Interesting, he was looking like he was going for the Pershing, but I guess just what PFC did there might have just rattled him a bit. I mean, in most cases, if a panther just charged through a nearby wall from you and blew up an ambulance, you'd be rattled too, but I'm not entirely sure if the Scott is the right reaction to that. That's like, you know, taping a obese corgi to a stick and hoping that stops it. Rainbow Tiller as well, they're just further looking to destroy the anti tank, and PMC just believes in absolute efficiency when it comes to blowing up stuff. Like, he wants it gone. He wants it gone yesterday. If it hits, then it is. Apparently, that efficiency ran into a few issues. Anyway, Storm Panzer following up there for PFC. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Around the western point, there's the Ostrom, nine kills, especially three. Officer moving in there, ten kills, close, especially three. Very good. Hasn't used the abilities as much except smoke. That's nice to see, but you know, diversion and inspiring all are some really great abilities as well. I can't really stress that enough. So, what will use M246 do next here versus PFC? What will he do? Can't the thoughts there. Blasting with machine guns and whatnot. Shot bouncing off. More S mines down there from PFC as well. He's really laying down a lot of S mines and just mines in general. Mine goes off there though. A bit unfortunate. But it's quite clear that PFC does not particularly consider that much of a setback. Sturm Panzer out there for PFC to bag up the Panzer Kampfwagen 5. We got another ambulance away there for use M246 once he's gotten past the trauma of seeing the ambulance just slaughtered. MG42 there, flanking up the fifth cover, nice work there. And got some motion down here to help protect against that. Not bad, not bad at all. In this case, the infiltrate reload first. That actually allowed them to pull it off there. Bit lucky there for use, but even then, obviously, it wouldn't have been complete disaster. And there you go. And attending there's a Sturm Panzer, already low on health. He's managed to recruit it, but the question is how for much longer. And he's even used Rangers, that's a bit expensive, but. It certainly is there. And there you go. Panther moving in, like, I'm try and finish it off there. We got another attack on the up. Still, again, use M246. He's not intimidated by. Uh, well, PFC's not intimidated by use M246. That's when they're not used to intimidate by PFC, is a bit harder to say. What's it called in there? Doing some damage there to uh, PFC's positions, but not much. And uh, it is worth noting the major who called it in is expired, so the question is if it really was worth it there. Scott here going for the MG42 in the east, forcing her out there. Rathnev is the Major, or not the Major, the Silver Officer. Got the Rangers moving up, close to Red 22. Right 
Two on Panzer hanging back. Close to Vitzen's run in the Panzerkampfwagenfunk MD4 Troop reinforcing. Fifth cover, half eight to Vitzen. Two Ostermen at the eastern side. Mines being spotted again. A vast sea of S mines. Oh, Panther going for the Scott. Almost got it there. Taking a few hits from the turn, but with only one anti tank about, there's nothing huge. There's long as stays clear of any infantry, and there goes shot bounced at max range. Hits a line to tank mine, but with you having nothing nearby to really hurt it, it's not a particularly big deal there. Lost someone on the west side there, 11 kills. East level S mines there, and managed to get their way partly through the S mine field. Cat moving in there, taking fire from the Ostrupen of the 342nd Volksman of Division. MB42, they're hosing away 10 kills, Retiny 3. The house is obviously not quite as safe anymore. Sturm Panzer landing hit there on the Tilford MB34. Back in, I think going for PFC. Could still consider Panzer gun these. I mean, he easily has the manpower for it now, easily. Jump hands are falling back. Rangers they're routed. Officer moving in here. Veteran D3, 13 kills. A true inspiration to other troops if you know allowed it to happen. For now he seems to be a bit more reserved about that. Like he gets the concept, but you know, he's not quite keen on it. Machine gun crew there wiped up with the Sturm Panzer. A few high explosive shells for the 150 mil caliber riding and a good few machine gun rounds as well tends to do the trick. Panther push back here, or he's falling back here. Ooh, another mine hit there. We're still blasting to the base over to get the Rangers, who are close to snuffing it, but not quite. There we go, Jack and Tanks on there for use M4246. Keep messing that one up. This is, I think, Pershing Dream's very much been laid to rest. Like a young man I think he was going to be a rock star and instead ends up being a, you know, a captain. He has to settle for, you know, the less flashy stuff. Stumpard taking hit there from the anti-tank gun. Panther halfway to Vetsun T2 and the Mektiko Schutzen. Probably looking to hose out that machine gun crew there with his own machine guns. Drawn the points left here for use M426. It's only to do something out soon. That fish machine is crew is about to get cleared out, but it does manage to survive here. The wrath of the Panzerkampfwagen 5. And we got Railroad to look in on the support position. He's blast through there. Oh, the cheek, the absolute balls. He's forced to get out of there, allowing the Panther to pass through, and there we go. Mortar crew just absolutely annihilated so badly that just the limbs are not quite realizing the sheer shot they had to be dismembered. It's also a little fun graphical, but really, though, with the, the mortar crewmen, where again, for some reason, the unit gibbs, but like the skin from the unit still sticks to those gibbs. It doesn't happen to any other unit. It's a bit fun. In a grotesque, horrific, slightly Lovecraftian way. Not Lovecraftian, maybe Cronenbergen? Anyways. Panther, they're getting hit on the Scott. Jackson up there, piercing the Panther's armor. Plus 22, anti steel Panther going for the anti tank gun. Ace level there, by the way. Panther bounces the shot there, very close 52. Anti tank and crew utterly wiped out from the face of this earth. Rangers, they're trying to go for the anti tank gun. Panther trying to cover that. We got Austin Wing as well here. It's going to be close to jump Panther down to half health. Go close to 52, and there you go. Panther gains 22, shots and added. Bit more durable today, good Jackson down to half health, using these to be careful here, and there you go, Let's is inwards, again, PFC handlers Panther, like it was Bachman, I don't know, real Panther is, no. Well, he might have exaggerated a lot of his wins, so it's a bit hard to say there. Strong mm. Panzer down, Panther almost done, might have extended his luck a bit here, and certainly could set up there for use, uh, heading him back. A backhand slap, if you can sort of organize quickly enough and just push through PFC's forces fast enough. We'll have to see how that pans out. 
pack routed and PFC just commits another Panther to science. You know what? I like Panthers. Jackson being fixed up, that he will like and need more Jackson to stop. Double Panthers. Okay, I'm doing good work there. Veteran 3, 20 kills. Second Panther halfway done. Panther number one only ever appears quite aggressively. No one's touching in the mortar. For, well, I guess understandable reasons. M4 to come running up in the middle of an S mine. Feel what remains of it. Lost on finding here, Captain taking a bit of lighter shooting. Panther almost done there for PFC. And there we go, Panther out. Awesome there, taking a bit of damage, ranges the captain doing what they can. Another scot for you, M426. I think he may have underestimated the panther problem that's about to hit him. He may have underestimated it. Just a bit. Now then, you fall to in the weather for PFC. Inchinoff has not picked up that 50 cover, which I think would be a pretty good pick up, to be honest. Panther almost got to go there. His first one almost upgraded his rather fully. Ready to take on some American hordes. Use this. Certainly operating a bit of slow pace. is definitely still a more defensive mindset, which is up giving PFC more time just to think recover and just counter -tire. And he's had to go with the support McCall now. Perhaps figuring he needs something to bag up. Copy an offspin to help you with infantry. Could be stooped for a bit more extra anti tank firepower. Could get a dispute Panther 4, but. I don't know, I think one of the two goals will make more sense. Panthers moving ahead here, light fire there for the Americans. The Scots obviously not stopping it. Again, he's got two Scots to try and stop the Panthers. Another combat blitz here, need to be careful it doesn't get too stuck up there. Oh no, Panther here, bit of pathing issues, can't happen if the tank's too close, didn't try to roll both reverse, one will not be able to do so, begin turning on the spot, and yeah, cost him a Panther there. Pretty unfortunate there by PFC, probably should have, well he should have split out the Panthers a bit more, but I uh, guess he got too enthusiastic and that cost him a Panther, an easy kill there for use, and might just give him some time there to recover versus PFC if he seizes upon this opportunity with the... The right spirit and gusto, but if he fails to seize upon this, I mean, it's not going to matter too much then. In particular, since PFC does have sufficient resources to go for another Panther if he so desires, or you know, Ostrings and Stoods, he does go for another Panther. His brain may see Panther for Sturm Panther or something else, but it has. His heart cries Panther. And clearly, PFC is a man of his heart. Panthering about the range is oppressed. 22 kills. Going straight here for the Scots. And we got another railroad to look according to once more just rain, death, terror, and misery upon users' forces. And of course the fifth armor. There we go. Very large shell inbound. The anti-tank the crew don't think it's gonna make it back home for, you know, Christmas. Oh, they might not even make it back home for their own funeral. Oh, okay, got lucky there. I was about to say, look, that to head around there. That would have been uh, quite an area. Then the game might take out some of those routine units. Or some of those charging units. Oh, no, this is pretty brutal. Something's going to get in the field. Just the anti tank, then. Wow, that was, that was very suspenseful. Huh? You know, you're just wondering where's the next shell going to hit, what's going to get annihilated. And in this case, we sort of get the lighter version and suspense is an anti tank and gets destroyed. Not quite Hitchcock, do not quite Hitchcock. He probably would have done that a bit better. Captain going there for the Western Point, charging forward into the S minefield and an MD42, and well, both go off with absolute brilliance, shattering the captain's unit. They're leaving the captain quite alive for now. Panther getting ready there, machine gun, other Panther good to go, closing in on Vetchin through in the ace level. Austin blogging the point, they're down to 99 points here for use, M426. M2, M2, 
Panthers moving forwards here. Might go straight here with the Jackson and the Scott. And to tank isn't quite nearby. In fact, and just with the Jackson now to stop two Panthers. I mean, it's theoretically not impossible. But with his back against the wall and two Panthers pushing him against the wall, I don't think this is going to end up particularly well for the Jackson tank destroyer. And there we go, knocked out. Leaving him with just two Scots. And at that point, again, they might as well just be a beast Corgis because. And most they might get stuck in the treach for a bit and just mire it up a bit, but even then, it's not going to slow them down for long. Second squad about to go down there, go Panther against the ace level. It now moves faster and shoots faster. Scott easily disassembled there. And with this, I would say, use his chances of snatching victory here from the jaws of defeat are um, quite limited unless he pulls off some absolutely brilliant maneuver or PFC suffers a heart attack or gets carried away by some sort of secret police that's also a possibility and there we go use M246 pops out and that was a victory for the German army some nicest players they've played with both PFC and use but as the game went on it became I think more and more in favour of PFC is about to come use because PFC I feel like just able to maintain initiative better, he was able to exploit it better. And use just sort of struggled a bit with that. He also played a long more with PFC's tune rather than trying to break PFC. He just kept sort of responding home because of that way slow him down, giving him enough time. But the PFC, as you saw there, was quite keen and just constantly attacking, making hard for him to you know, do anything and use just never broke that. So in the end PFC won over again that was a pretty good place. That the officer could have been used a bit better so make good use from good use of the Panthers by the way. I feel like some of those aggressive Panther plays also proved to crucially show that he wasn't just your average Vermont player. And that might also intimidate the use a bit more because he knew he could actually be in a bit of trouble there. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on tell a friend, tell a family, but don't tell enemies. And like we do you can donate or pledge on Patreon. Every donation allows me to keep doing this day after day. So Thank you all for watching, and thanks to all those who support me throughout the years. This is Imperling turning off, and see you all tomorrow for an awesome episode. Bye.